Praise God. How are you? Are you sure? Wanna say you? I'm saying you are generalized. I want to try the best I can to teach uh, what I have this morning and what the Lord has put in my heart that we may learn together from the Word of God. We have been talking about God of all grace and you can understand about the God of all grace when you are and that grace. Hallelujah. You need that grace. God of all grace. God of all grace. Our leading comes from First Peter. Chapter number five. And we are doing from verse 10. In this way, service we had uh, done from verse 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. But nevertheless, let's deal with verse 10 this day today. The attribute of God is that He is a gracious God. God of all grace. That is his nature. That is the attribute of God. Among other attributes. Amen. God is God of love. God is God of compassion. God is God of mercy. And so on and so on. But we are dealing with the grace. And therefore, in my introduction, so that you pick it from there, because I'll teach this for a while, and it's good to understand what grace is. And uh, I can summarize by saying, surely, grace is a gift of God to His people. And the meaning of grace is here. Number one, grace, that's where we start. We are doing 1 Peter 5 10 and 1 Peter chapter 1, 3, and 7. That is why I don't know where you got the others from. To get that scripture alone, above the introduction. Get the word introduction. Unless you know that. Okay. Introduction. Oh, good. Now, grace is the free gift of God. First Peter, yes, 5 10. And first Peter uh, 1 3 and 7. That is uh, the scriptures you are going to deal with. Now, let's go to defining what grace is. Okay. Grace is the unmerited favor of God. Unmerited means you don't demerit. Grace is a deserved favor of God. Many you, you miss. Grace is the undeserved favor of God. You complete that. Undeserved because you don't deserve it. Nevertheless, God gives you His grace. Even when you do not deserve it, you do not merit it, you do not qualify for it. With his grace. Amina? 
They are on the favor of God. You know the arm. That favor. But God gives it to you. Grace is a divinely given talent of blessing. Not because of works. But it is a special blessing, a special time, a special gift from God. And he gives it to his people because he is God of all grace. Move on. Fear for grace is not achieved or received by one's works. It is the favor of God upon his people. Are we together? Just favor of God. And that is what we need. We need the favor of God. Amen, amen. Amen, amen. And God of all grace works through the people that He has chosen. The people that have received Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Let me not deviate from the message the God of all grace is not limited. Amen? He is not limited. He gives grace to the humble. He gives grace even to those people that you think they don't deserve it. The more I want now to deal with First Peter chapter number 5 and verse 10. I want to deal with verse 10 alone. You are now in a class. Verse 10 is divided into three. Uh, it is divided into three components. That is number one, the effect of the benefit from God's grace, that is God of all grace, and then the effect of the benefit of His calling upon His people, which we call the high calling, and number three, which is not uh, written there, is the result. That comes after a journey, the little suffering. And the low order of there is Jesus Christ. So we want to deal with number one and number two. We want to see clearly the text itself, how the text is. Let's read the text together. That is. I think this is NID translation. You can read it from other translations. And the God of all grace, and who called you to his eternal glory in Christ, after you have suffered a little while, will himself restore you and make you strong, firm, and steadfast. I have divided that verse 10 into three components. Component number one is dealing with the benefits or the effects that we get from the grace of God. I want to talk about how gracious the Lord is. That is number one. Then we'll come to do with number two. How gracious God is. The benefits of God's grace upon our lives. Two points I want us to note is this. Our God is God of all grace. Means that he is able to provide his grace to his people. Let me 
believers in every situation for your success and victory. Because he is Lord of all grace, in every situation you will be, he will provide sufficient grace for you to successfully escape or move out of that situation in a triumph. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Is, my, is this my token? Okay? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Are we there? After all, we are not preaching. It's okay. Our God is God of all grace. He is able to provide His grace to His people, to His believers, in every situation for their success and victory. I am telling you, there is nothing that can affect you that can overcome the grace of God for that situation. At times we feel like we are so much pushed, left, right, center, and the grace of God is not there.
for he came with the grace and truth. He and show Jesus being that truth. Hallelujah. Yeah. So you can see. And that is why we are saved by grace. It is not because of what? It is not because we became so religious or we give so much to the servants of the Lord. For the Bible says in Ephesians 2 and verse 7 that we are saved by grace through faith. It is not of our own work so that any one of us can be post. It is just by the grace of God. Why somebody 
should die for somebody who is not good. Why somebody should die for a corrupt fellow, for a thief, for a murderer, for a fornicator? You cannot understand why somebody should die for a drunkard. It is all by the grace of God. It is the most sweet, this grace. It is this grace which made Jesus to give his life on the cross. We call it a missing grace. It is a missing grace. Hallelujah. It is a missing grace that has brought us this far. It is this amazing grace that will lead us home. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. It is this amazing grace that has brought us as a church to be where we are today. To this sanctuary today. You remember where we were and where we are and where we are going. You know, this, this is, it is, you can see. I'm not talking about things that you can, you can see. You know where you are. We know where we are now. And you know where we are going. Hallelujah. This is the grace of God. And finally, we, even if she go there, we are not going to be there forever. There is somewhere else that we are going by the same grace. And that's why I say the same grace will take us home. Home is not there. Home is not in America. Home is not in Europe. Somebody, somebody say, Be can 
see. And Jesus was lifted from the Mount of Olives. And he went up on the high soil call. And the cloud covered him. Hallelujah. That is where we are going. Amen. Praise God. That is where the grace is taking us. Yes. It is not taking us to our good. Hello. People are fighting for other things which are perishable. Glory be to God. Are we together? That is the grace. Let's move. Let's move. Let's move. We are talking about the grace. Amen, amen. We are talking about the grace. God of all grace. We can get a few, uh, a few, a few points. God's grace is sufficient to do many things, unlimited things. God's grace. But let me tell you, let me just say something which is not written there. God of all grace, when do you understand these things? You take your position in the kingdom. And people may ask which one. We are in the kingdom here on earth. We are in the kingdom of Jehovah. We are in a kingdom that has no end. Hallelujah. The kingdom we are in now is forever. We are beginning. We take our position now and we are going to accept under the same grace into the eternal kingdom of Jehovah. God's grace is sufficient for us. It is sufficient for every Christian in all aspects of our Christian life. We shall God of all grace. Hence, there is sufficient grace for you to receive supernatural miracles in your life. Because there is sufficient grace for you to receive your supernatural miracles in every situation. To receive your healing when you are sick. There is sufficient grace to heal every manner of disease. There is sufficient grace to heal cancer, to heal HIVs, and to heal coronavirus. The grace of God is sufficient. I mean, amen. Hallelujah. To do great things in your life, even to deliver you. From the witchcraft. The grace of God is sufficient for you to remove your fears in this life. Why? When you are under the grace, hallelujah, nothing can shake you because the grace of God is there for you. When you go to supermarket, you do not fear that you might get, you may contact HLEs. You go into the supermarket under your covenant, under the grace of God, and do your shopping under the grace of God. And walk out majestically, because the grace of God in that supermarket is there for you. It is sufficient for me. Praise God. Hallelujah. Despite that, you must be observed. Isn't it? You don't move loving children with every topic and then you are careful. See you? But nevertheless, you know you are under the grace. Amen. What is the son? 
And actually, because the devil knows that you, you, you fear, in, in the line, in the line uh, uh, towards the, the, the counter of the supermarket, it is marked. Positions are marked where you should start. But funny enough, because the devil knows that you fear, somebody comes so close and he knows the marking on the, on the, on the floor. And I actually make sure the, the devil brings that person so close to you and make sure that he has had you somehow. <laughs> and when you go home, you wash your hands, you remove those clothes, you walk, you, you keep them away, far away, for how many, for how many days? At least two days, so that the virus will have died. <laughs> the devil makes sure that that which you fear, he brings it on your head. And I will have a night, who can go that day, who can put a foot on the body, who can put a foot on Unafuta na kiu kenda kula na sio na kwa kwa una kuku kwa ule mtu. Hali ile ile zati ya kuja. The devil wants in a way such that he keeps you restless because he operates in the region of fear so much so so that he keeps you at this time. You cannot rest. Rest, rest. All the way. But I want to tell you the grace of God is here for you. The grace of, when you remember the grace, you tell the devil, 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 you are under my feet. Devil, you are under my feet. I have no fear. The grace of God is sufficient for me. Even to go through whatever. Huh? You don't feel this. One as yeah. But let me say also something. I said it's not, uh, it's not there. The grace of God is sufficient to set you free from sinful practices. The grace of God is there to set you free from sinful practices. You remember those since uh, history beset us. The writer of Ilius, the scholars uh, conclude somehow that it was written by Paul. Ilius 12, verse 1, it talks about those, those sins that easily beset us. That the grace of God is sufficient to, to do what? To set you free from sinful practices. Hello? What are those sinful practices? Therefore, since we are surrounded by great crowd of witnesses of Akina Paul, Peter, and the rest, let us know. that so easily entangles us. Let us do what? Let us, let us throw away, let us put away everything that eat us up. There are so many things that eat us. There, is, there are so many small things that so easily entangle us. Come up, like, you know, like, like, like telling lies, eh? You tell lies. You, you tell lies. Those are small, small things that easily entangle us. I mean, lying. Telling lies. Hello, hello? Hello? Who, who makes it come up? Ah, Bando, yeah, Nico, 
nimefika ni niko karibu sana kufika Wewe uko kwa matatu eh na unatoka kwa nyumba Simu isi Simu isi Please control your phone eh Let it not lead you into those uh, sins that easily and that was unachika simu unaongea wao every day una pango kidogo umeongea kwa simu Please may the grace of God be sufficient unto you to set you free from those sinful practices and gossiping gospel natural ladies are a gift in gospel because the creation of a woman is that they are supposed to make uh, about about so what i don't remember the statistics nicely but there was a possible when a man makes a quarter the lady makes three quarters <laughs> so they have to talk because they are created that way they have to talk a lot a lot and a man when a man is talking is doing 25 words the lady has done So the right ones. You see? And even some they 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 are they, they do more than that according to the gifting of talking. But my prayer is that they can convert their talk to talk things that he
This 
correct judgment in this nation. The United is the Marisa. Narasima the Marisa. Sababu ya saa. Sikuwa ya. Sababu sababu ya hapo. Waze ni wapi. Nikuwa na kuambiaji. I was telling you. That you have to overcome. The. The threat of. Coronavirus through. Amen. No. The sufficient grace of God. Will. Set you free. From. Setting aside. It will. It will set you free. From crafty deals. From bravery. From those things I told you about. And it will also set you free. From stealing from God. It's like. Am I making sense? It will stop you. From doing what? Stealing from God. Don't steal from God. I beseech you and I love you. Usiibiyamungu. Tablai. Furuna kumileta kumiba ya mungu. Sao? Sao? Fana hivi? Sao hivi? But the grace is sufficient. The grace of God is sufficient for the youth. You they are doing a commander of John. Now. The youth patron is where? Ngozia. Youth patron, listen to me. Allow the youth in this church to come on Saturday to do the cleaning. And after the cleaning, they surround this altar in prayer, talking to God. That is also their season of prayer. Yes, I know. I know, I know. Last time I said, I know when they finish, they pray. But now I allow you. You have cleaned this place. After you have cleaned and before you take your cup of tea, come and surround this place. Kneel down here. And pray and talk to God. And intercede for this nation. Intercede for this church. Intercede for your family. Intercede for everything else. Hallelujah. Amen. Hello. It is prayer, prayer, prayer all through. With your children, with your family. Youth, Saturday, you are here. After cleaning, kneel down here and talk to God. Let this church be a church of prayer from this message of today. Because the grace of God is there for us to encourage us not to be less saved in prayer. To surround the two of them. To know that's how I do it. Now, on Sunday, prepare for good things. They are coming on Sunday. Through the grace. Through the grace. Good things are coming. Hallelujah. God of all grace is there for you. God of all grace is going to multiply your resources. In the midst of coronavirus, lift up your hands, open your mouth. Even if <coughs> you have your mask, open your mouth and talk to God. Inside the mask, open your mouth and tell God, I need this grace. I need this grace to press on. I need this grace to move on. I need this grace. Hallelujah. Lord, in this your grace. Lord, it is your grace. Lord, it is your grace. Master, it is your grace. The men and the women of good faith release your grace to our children, to our youth, to our daily fellowship, men's fellowship. Release your grace to our families, O God. Let me know our families. Let me know our children, Lord. Let me know our children. Release your grace on our children, Lord.
we need your grace. We need your grace. Oh, yes. For those that are sick in their bodies, Lord. We need your grace of healing upon their bodies. For those that are having and covered at the times, Lord, give them comfort in you. We love you. We praise you. We worship you for your grace. We love you and we magnify your name. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this ministry. And we thank you for Jesus Worship Center family. Wonderful people of God. May your basic grace rest upon each and every member of this church. We want to pray for each and every member of this church, Lord. And we pray that God, your grace may be sufficient in every area. Remember our Sunday school children. May your grace rest upon them. Remember this nation. Remember the leadership of this nation. Remember our president. Lord, we pray for your wisdom to prevail. May your grace rest upon him and give him wisdom to govern this nation through justice. Oh God, we thank you. And we pray for all the organs of this uh, government, King Jesus. We pray for our police force. We pray that God will give them grace to continue working justly in the name of the Lord. Remember all other sectors of this government. Lord, we release your grace so that the nation of Kenya can be a God-fearing nation. We praise you and we worship you. Bless our giving as we give unto you. In Jesus' name, we pray and give thanks. Amen. 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 amen.